I think museums play a significant role in our current time. They are important platforms for cultural debate. They are also real centers for communities. They are currently in a rapid evolution uh, of uh, really understanding what it means to be a museum of the world and for the world. There's a certain uh, level of both responsibility and drivenness that, that artists have that I find uh, very admirable and my job is to fully support that. Well, I grew up in a very arts-minded family. I got into museums very early on, kind of then evolved into a real passion and something that I felt very engaged with. But art and art history has been part of my life from very early on. I developed also a very keen interest in running an operation. It allowed me actually then uh, in Vienna to do two studies at the same time at Art History at Vienna University and Business Administration at VU. It was very internationally minded, very much on the forefront of uh, developing new ideas about both scholarship, academia, about how to engage uh, students. Any study that you do, you learn a whole lot of things, but you learn also a lot about people people that you get to know, people that are your mentors, your teachers. A lasting influence besides the core studies was really a significant amount of friendships uh, that I've, I've formed during that time. People who certainly came from different walks of life, that I think was for me uh, a really important additional element. During my studies, I worked as a journalist, as a business journalist. While doing an internship here in New York, during my studies, the then director of the Guggenheim Museum said to me in an elevator, a typical American way, if you ever finished with your studies, you've got a job here. And well, I called him up when I was done and I got a job in New York. And that was basically my first job that I had. I became probably the youngest and maybe also least experienced uh, chief of staff in the museum history. That was a major education for me as well. During a time where we have significant challenges, debates about how we want to live together, it's a very interesting institution to be involved in. And the Met in particular is a significant voice in our current cultural debate. And I saw a, a type or a typology of a museum that I wanted to be involved in, where I, I could see that I could combine, of course, my interest in arts and art history, but also in how to professionally run an institution to really uh, support the arts or support artistic thinking. I'm not alone, but I think that there's, a, there's been a shift in regard to what a museum director needs to do, what really the job is, and with that shift comes probably also a new kind of profile for these museum directors, and probably I'm, I fit in that profile in a certain way. Museums have been here for 200, 250 years. The Met is 150 years old. So it, you're part of an evolutionary process of an institution. As long as you can be helpful, supportive, and somewhat visionary about the next uh, steps for an institution, I think that should be your role. And I always saw whatever I do as a service to the institution.